welcome back and here we have another review of the Transformers Prime Cyberverse commander line and this is on the Ironhide figure which I don't know if it's going to be this exact type of uh, figure in the, in the show meaning the way it looks and everything it'd be nice it's really nice looking Ironhide figure. Um, so let's see. Let's see what happens. I don't know uh, if this is the one or they're going to come up with a different type of Ironhide. If anybody knows more details about the character Ironhide that is if even uh, is even coming to uh, the animated series, uh, the Transformers Prime series, uh, let me know. But uh, this is uh, how he is in the box. Uh, like I said again, I really like the boxes on these. Small and compact. Really cool. Data. and um, <clears throat> I like it I like the way it looks and that's a I like the head mold already it's kind of cool looks really iron height ish all right so let me get him out all right now these figures do come packaged in the robot mode uh, you know so that's how I'm going to transform him from robot to vehicle um, and it's really neat, uh, neat looking mode here, like the robot mode and all. Comes with these two weapons here, and you can use them as uh, you, can, you got a couple of slots right here. You can put them in his hand, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. So what else did I want to kind of point out here? Yeah, the head. I mean, uh, hopefully they'll make him as a character, man. If it looks like this, it must be on the way, I guess. I don't know. If you guys know about that detail, do let me know. And articulation is pretty much... I mean, I didn't go over the articulation on Dreadwing because it's pretty basic, guys. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of movement here. you got elbow movement somewhat. And this flap does get in the way. That's the only thing about the robot mode here. Um, and you have decent movement on the legs and stuff like that. And there's no waist, but he does move from the neck, uh, from his chest area, kind of. That's that's due to transformation. Well, all in all, it's a really good robot, solid robot mode, except just a little kibble here, and that's it. Uh, I I like it. It's pretty nice. Not as good as Dreadwing, of course, uh, in my opinion, but still good. I mean, it's a decent looking uh, for, for the size. It's pretty cool. I and I love the way it transforms too. I love the transformation. Which, let's do that now. So, like I said, these are simple. And this is kind of cool. It's not as simple for this one. Well, you know, you'll, you guys be the judge. So, just kind of you know, fold this. And remember, and these guys, all of them pretty much don't have any head movements. You know, so that's the thing. And you're going to move these up here. You know, kind of like clip them together there's like a peg you just kind of this just kind of goes together like this you can leave it like that and you just kind of turn the body and the upper parts pretty much done you just gonna kind of go like this now close it up and these little and sometimes it gets out of your hand here all right so these things will go down. Oh, and you're going to adjust the wheels. They'll pop out. Of course they'll pop out. Why won't they? You know? So, yeah. That's the upper body pretty much done. And then you got this area here. Fold it up. Put it in. Clip it together. Actually, bring it down first, like that, like this, and then just kind of clamp it together. There you go, vehicle. Quite neat, eh? Hey? I mean, it's it's nice. It's nice uh, as a vehicle and as a as a uh, robot. Not much kibble going on up in here at all, guys. I mean, yeah, you got the head syndrome type deal, but it's cool. <clears throat> And, you know, that's spiffy. And you can put these here or here. 
I don't like to and this figure is a little loose and it does have a little problem with clipping and all that stuff back here but um, let me you know it's so easy to turn these back you know to robot mode it can be done in a second and I, I just want to put them back in the robot mode real quick and just kind of give you an idea how really easy it is so you know all you do now is just kind of turn oops let me just do this and bring this down the wheels will pop off occasionally and there he is done so Arnheim very neat little figure I, d I highly recommend picking him up if you guys see him you gotta grab him uh, and Dreadwing for sure um, I've got a Megatron review coming up in a little bit of the Cyberverse Megatron and it's, he's already kind of custom painted and everything so I'll show you guys that but here's Ironhide every time I look into a monitor prime my circuit sizzle here's the monitor <laughs>